A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitani Rajeem. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, we are doing a series on the Islamic ethics and uh, in this Islamic ethics series we are trying to use different Islamic um, ethical codes from the Holy Quran and the traditions of the Holy Prophet وسلم, and the Ahlul Bayt And so far we've been using the sermon of Imam Ali alayhi salam khutbah wasila. Uh, this sermon is uh, describing the ethical uh, qualities of a believing person. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a statement from Ali ibn Abi Talib salam, where he says that he who does not control his tongue regrets. And controlling the tongue is one of the most important things. Uh, it is one of the five senses and the tongue itself, if not controlled, can destroy houses, can make friends enemies, can take away your family members and can cause even wars and battles. So we need to learn how to control uh, this small organ uh, which is extremely sinful and most of the sins that are committed uh, by any part of the body are by the tongue. What uh, is this tongue? And when the Imam is saying that he who does not control his tongue regrets. Unfortunately, we many times say things which we later regret because we have not thought about saying what we wanted to say. So it is extremely important that you learn um, uh, to uh, think before you speak. So think before you say anything and that would not make you regret. Some things uh, lead to regression. And one of them is, for example, not controlling your tongue, anger, many things. Uh, but tongue is something very small and it has 32 guards on it. It has two big gates, the lips, and yet it does not remain in control of anyone. So we have to learn to control the tongue. What are the sins that a person commits from the tongue? Well, backbiting, slander, lying, um, so many things one can say. Sometimes you say something to someone. I remember a story from society that uh, two friends uh, were sitting together. One of them said to the other, oh, recently you gave birth. Uh, did your husband give you any gift? So the first friend said, no, he didn't give me any gift. He said, ah, so he doesn't think you're important because he didn't give you, buy you a gift um, once you, you know, after you've given birth to his child. The friend said it and left and to her it was nothing. But this small statement remained in the head of that first friend and she continuously uh, kept thinking and thinking that she blew up in front of her husband when he came home and a fight started and it led to uh, divorce and sometimes you don't realize what you may be doing may lead to something very major. Sometimes you give a statement and you think it means nothing uh, that we will wipe out so and so we will uh, kill and it may lead to a war. Just because of one statement a war starts and you may say something about friends that uh, the friend starts to feel um, and you may be responsible. So you may think that, oh, what will it do? It will destroy your life when you make people away from each other. It has serious consequences in life, uh, not only just in this life, but in the hereafter. Uh, a scholar has mentioned in his book a story that uh, a scholar uh, was a neighbor with a family and uh, that family uh, was a very pious, very practicing family. They had a daughter and this scholar wanted to propose for his son, for that girl. And uh, she was very uh, pious, she was very good, nice looking. So he wanted to propose for his own son, for that girl. And one day someone came and proposed for that girl and they wanted to propose but they said, well, their neighbor is such a big scholar so we should ask that scholar before we propose to the girl. So they, they said to the scholar, uh, what do you think of that family? He, he, he didn't say they are not good. He said, well, I think you should uh, research about them before you uh, form a relationship with their family. Intending, um, so they don't go ahead with the 
proposal and so he could propose for his son to that family. But unfortunately what happened was that they went on to um, tell everyone, spread the whole thing in the city that oh, they have such a big scholar who is their neighbor and he hasn't said anything nice about them. And that way the girl never got married because everyone thought she wasn't a decent person. That scholar died and his son saw in his dream uh, that the father is in pain. He said, why? He said, because every time that girl uh, sighs and says, ah, um, I get the punishment for it because it was me who said something wrong about her without uh, bad intention. I could not propose to that family for you because they had heard what I had said about that girl. Um, so it, it finished my relationship with them. Now, once you learn to control your tongue, you will not regret because when you, even many times, uh, you are thoughtful, but still you have not thought about everything you may regret. But without thinking, when you start speaking, you will surely regret. Um, so uh, regret comes when a person speaks without, without thinking. And many times we bring in very good relationships or very good friends, uh, friendships to an end because of saying certain things uh, that are hurtful. Sometimes we criticize uh, someone um, more than they deserve. So someone we think needs a criticism and we should criticize them if they've done something wrong. But don't do it in a way that they start to feel offended and they start to feel belittled or um, they feel animosity towards you because of your disgrace that you have caused for them in front of others or even if you say it alone by, uh, you know, by yourself and just you and them. But you've said it in a way that it makes them think this person does not respect me. So it is extremely important that you uh, speak to a person in a calculated way. Now, what are the different ways of controlling one's tongue? In olden days, uh, the companions of the Holy Prophet used to pick up some pebbles, small stones, wash them and keep them in the mouth so they wouldn't speak. And if someone asked them something, they would just nod or something and speak little. And when asked why, they said, uh, we have now placed pebbles in the mouth so we don't speak because each time we speak we are either uh, abusive or we use swear words, we are disrespecting others, we are backbiting, we are doing so many sins from the tongue and we've heard the Holy Prophet wasallam describe to us that we should be controlling our tongue, that we have learned to not say anything. So it is extremely important that we learn how to control our tongue. In olden days, they would say a story at school that when uh, 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 there were many different birds and animals at a water hole and uh, the water finished and the birds started flying away and a turtle asked the birds, where are you all going? And um, a pair of uh, birds uh, said that there is a, another water hole nearby. He said, well, you can fly and I can't. Uh, allocate the place, so can you take me? They said, well, how do we take you with us? Um, so he said, okay, you two hold on to a wooden stick and I will bite onto that wooden stick and you can fly me with you to that place. And they both said, if you learn how to control your tongue, so if you don't speak, then we will take you. While they were flying and on the way, the children started speaking and they said, look at, the, at that turtle. Uh, the birds are flying it away. So the turtle quickly opened the mouth to say that, yes, they are taken. And he dropped halfway from the water hole. So many times we learn the hard way and uh, we make mistakes and we regret later on. So it is best that you learn from other people's mistakes. A wise person is he who learns from the mistakes of others. And a fool is he who does not learn until they make a mistake themselves. And the bigger fool is he who never learns even from their own mistakes. So we must learn how to control our tongue. Um, the tongue can cause uh, many harms, not just to ourselves, but to the society. Um, 
so truthfulness you know if you imam hadi alayhi salam has a hadith in tuhaful uh, uqul uh, he says that if your words uh, are silver then uh, your silence is gold so keep in quiet and uh, in another place they say that if your uh, words uh, you know if your silence is gold then your word slowly you pick up wisdom you become wise and then you learn to say things which may be diamonds and uh, precious stones so you learn wisdom through through quietness and uh, imam ali salam says that man kamala aqluhu qalla kalamu you know whoever who who whosoever um, perfects his intellect will uh, decrease in their speech so the speech becomes less if you are uh are, are becoming wiser so it is extremely important that we all learn to control our tongue finally if you don't learn how to control your tongue uh, and you don't think before you say anything then it is best to just keep quiet and it is best to not to hurt anyone's feelings not to offend anyone not to say anything abusive or wrong and evil it is best not to say anything we pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he gives us the tawfiq to become more wise thoughtful um and um a person that always uh, cares about the feelings of other people without hurting them you say things and without hurting their feelings you convey to them the right message so inshallah look after yourself and control your tongue thank you very much for listening